Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Rideshare Hub. I'm Jacob Letman, and uh, before we get started with today's topic, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the inside information, tips, and secrets that we have about rideshare driving. Share this video with friends, family, and anyone you think it might be applicable to. And at the end, if you like it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. Okay, uh, today what I want to talk about with you guys are five ways that you can take care of your health and wellness while you're rideshare driving. We all know that you can spend a lot of time, hours on end, driving in the car. And uh, here's some tips to take care of yourself while you're doing that. So the first one is... Um, to make sure you stay hydrated. It's really easy with the AC going and not doing a lot of physical activity to drink coffee or tea or soda uh, and forget about drinking water. But I found that it really helps my alertness if I focus on drinking my water throughout the day. So no kidding. This is my water bottle. Also doubles as a weapon. It weighs like eight pounds and uh, yeah, so my goal is to drink through that while I'm driving each day. Um, and that brings me to point number two. When you drink a lot of water, you have to go pee a lot. And if you've been driving for a while, you know how real the struggle is if you have to pee and you got a passenger in the car and you got to make it another 15 miles. Oh, oh, it's the worst. I have the bladder of an 11 year old girl. That's a true thing, it's real. So here's what I did, especially driving in California, I found that a lot of the gas stations and restaurants would only let you use the restroom if you were a paying customer. I'm like, dude, I just got to pee so bad. Um, so when I was in California, what I would do when I was in a certain area and I found a place uh, that had a public ba bathroom I could use, I would just drop a pin on the map. And then after you know several months, I had pins all over the place. So anytime I needed a pee break, I could just go there. Number three, make sure that you keep your energy up by snacking. And um, so here's my personal philosophy on this. I like to snack over eating a large meal because I find that after I eat a large meal, um, I get really tired and like seriously, ugh. so sleepy. So I like to cut up fruits and veggies. I have a little cooler I keep in my trunk. Um, with an ice pack, and then I have like granola bars, nuts, seeds, stuff like that, all high energy foods, uh, but don't take a lot of energy to digest, so you can keep your energy up without getting sleepy. But point four, if you do get sleepy, make sure you pull over. I kid you not, I'm pretty sure this is facts. I saw a Mythbusters years ago, and tired driving is far worse than drunk driving. Not kidding. So if you do get tired or sleepy, um, find a park or uh, if you're in a, an urban area, you know, like Walmarts, Targets, big parking lots, somewhere under a tree that you can kick back and get a quick snooze in. Those power naps will keep you going. And then point number five, make sure you take a lot of breaks to stretch and walk around. Uh, it's easy to just like try and keep pushing it. I know how it goes. Sometimes you're in the flow, you're making money, and you just keep getting those ride requests. But I try and make it a point to at least, at the most, every couple of hours, if my bladder can last that long, to uh, stop and stretch and move and shake. Um, also remember that things like massages and or chiropractors, those are all tax write-offs because we need to take care of our bodies in order to do our jobs. And so those are tax write-offs. You're taking care of your body to do your job. Fun fact. Awesome. Well, you guys, those have been my five tips for taking care of your health and wellness while you're out there driving. Again, if you like the video, appreciate a big thumbs up and uh, truly appreciate having you guys here on our channel. Uh, once again, I'm Jacob Letman. You can follow me on Instagram at jacob.letman, J-A-C-O-B dot L-E-T-M-A-N. And uh, jump down in the comment section below. Give us your feedback. And how about give us some topics that you would like us to cover? We'd love to cover those topics for you. Awesome. Hey, we'll see you guys next time. This has been another episode of the Rideshare Hub.